again, the northbound lanes are reopened heading into Rockland County. All but one southbound lane should reopen later tonight. Joe Bierman in Chopper 2 over the scene with more on the impact on traffic today. Joe. The southbound New York State Thruway is still closed for about a 10 mile stretch from exit 15 in Suffern all the way to the Tapanzi Bridge. This traffic here is the traffic that's coming southbound, exiting at exit 15, and is forced down 287. This delay goes back for 8 to 10 miles and will certainly be measured in hours. The good news is the northbound throughway or the westbound Tappenzi Bridge has been reopened. In Chopper 2, Joe Bierman, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Joe. Now, from the water, the scene of the collapse was an even more dramatic sight. CBS 2's Mary Calvi got a first-hand look out on the Hudson. Choppy waters here on the Hudson River. While we are on the water, we can see the massive operation that is going on here to build that new Tappan Zee Bridge. 28 cranes are in the water now. And take a look at what we can see. This is a multi billion dollar project. Of course, the problem with that crane, as we see in those exclusive photos of the crane as it toppled over onto the Tappan Zee Bridge, exactly what went wrong is being determined. But while we've been on the water, we've seen inspection crews in the water and also on the bridge taking a look at the structural integrity of it all as well as taking a look at the stability of all the cranes in the water. 138,000 vehicles cross this bridge so certainly everything is being done to make sure that it is safe. Thank you, Mary Calvi on the Hudson and uh, stay with CBS 2 News for the latest on the crane collapse and the Lane reopenings on the Tappan Zee Bridge. We have complete coverage, including detours, on our website, cbsnewyork.com.